toy collecting for broke nerds. Well, hello, folks. I believe we're going to have a toy collecting for broke nerds on the very subject that is nearest and dearest to my nerdy little heart. That would be Transformers, as most of you are probably already fucking sick of. So, now, the toy collecting for broke nerds, the whole point of this is to help you figure out how to collect something. Toys, Transformers, Gundams, whatever you get off to <laughs> in a nerd sense. So, one of the first things that you need to do, or kind of know, advice-wise, like I said in the previous video that I did as a Christmas special, Figure out what your limitations are. I actually had a couple of conversations, particularly with a couple of websites that actually sell toys, transformers and things, third party, masterpiece, etc., etc. When it's funny, one of the things they actually brought up was, well, broke nerds usually have issues with space, which it, that is true. Because I've talked to a lot of people and one of the things, well, I just don't have the room for it. And yeah, I can see that being a problem. However, there is a cure for this. Any of this getting through to you, son? And I'm going to discuss that with you right now. So, you got space issues. All right, first things first, I told you before, figure out which, which way you want your collection to go. Now that can mean any of a number of toy lines because you have Generation 1 reissues coming out. You have, there's there was Generation 2 if you prefer those. There's Masterpiece now. There's like Power of the Primes, Combiner Wars, um, Titans Return. You got master, the Masterpiece line like I said. Then now they're coming out with more Legends scale. For those of you who have space issues, legend scale might be the way to go. And I've got some examples kind of set up. Just as a size comparison, this is Ye Olde Masterpiece Sideswipe. He's a pretty decent size, as with most Masterpiece. Fully, fully posable, you know, well, except he doesn't really have a waist swivel, but, you know, he's got the ankle tilt, the ankle rocker, toes can move up and down, whatever. So you've got, he's got that all going for him. But, you know, if you want to collect Masterpiece, this is the size of most of the cars. Now, Megatron, Optimus Prime, those are a lot bigger. But, as I was saying, if you have the space issues, this isn't a legend size side swipe, but they come from the same mold. This is Masterpiece Red Alert. Anybody who remembers Generation 1, Red Alert and Sideswipe were the exact same fucking car with, as you can see, two different paint jobs. Now, as you can see, I've got him set up in a stance, a little action pose, and I'm going to put Sideswipe away and talk about the legend size. Whoop, stay up there. Don't you dare fall. All right, so the legend size, these little guys are more likely to fit a bunch on a shelf just so you've got you know you got yourself a little small collection now he's got the Autobot logo but he is a actually he is a third party make from a company called Magic Square now Magic Square does make I've, I've got quite a few so far well I've bought a few I haven't received them all in the mail yet of course I haven't been home yet so but now with the general size of this guy, and as you can see, he's pretty decent little detail. He's got his little shoulder cannon and whatnot. No, I mean, we're talking like palm of your hand. Fairly small. But, you know, the fully posable, as you can see, he's got like ankle tilts. You know, his knees can move. Well, that's not his knee. Knees can move, thigh swivel and all that. It's all the stuff you hear the reviewers talk about. But, on the bright side, they're not that big. You know, fully posable, not that big. Here's another example. Here's, this is by the same company, this is, they, well, they call him four-wheel drive. Red Alert's called Flame Patrol. 
and Beachcomber here is called Four Wheel Drive. Now they're relatively inexpensive as far as that goes. Like with Masterpiece, you can go on eBay and you can get them a lot cheaper than you would you normally purchase them from stores and things. But you can find like you know a little Beachcomber here, and he came in a two pack with Surfer, aka Sea Spray. And, you know, both of them are Magic Square, and they run general, like, a Flame Patrol here I got for about 30 bucks. And, you know, these, these two, you know, Beachcomber and Sea Spray came in a two-pack that was about, I want to say, $40, <clears throat> right at, maybe. Yeah, uh, Magic Square puts out a lot of them in two packs, which I'm I'm getting a couple of two packs, you know, when I get home. You know, and then like you know, you get Iron Factory made Shrike's Feather, aka Slipstream here. You know, as you can see, cute little posable. And of course, Iron Factory almost also made Amethyst here, aka Hotlink. He's the purple Decepticon seeker, and they run. They like I said, they generally tend to run anywhere from forty to sixty dollars. Some of them are a little like uh, I got DX9's War in Pocket Commander Dutch, aka Optimus Prime. That one's waiting at home. I paid fifty dollars for him, but he's. You know, got truck, trailer, and all. Most of the time when you get a Masterpiece Optimus Prime, the trailer is a separate purchase. But they're relatively inexpensive. Like, um, you know, this this is Fantoy's FT-24 Rouge. You know, everybody knows this RC. She ran me about $100. And most of ye broke nerds, I'm assuming, after you've paid all the bills and everything else, your play money... It, I'm going to say at most you got anywhere between 100 to $200, maybe. That's after you pay all your bills and things. So we're going on the presumption that your play money a little tight. So these guys usually run, and they're, they're the sites that I use the most are The Chosen Prime and TF Source. Now there are other there are other sites where you can get things like this, and it's the best thing you can do is go and price. You know, go to you know, because there's you know you got Chosen Prime, TF Source, Big Bad Toy Store, Lunar Toy Store. You got a whole bunch of websites you can look into, and no, I'm not sponsored by any of these fuckers. If anything, they get more of my money than I'll ever see from them. So no, I'm not a sh I'm not shilling for these sites. This this is information. This is what I do. And it should help you to find decent prices on, you know, what whatever you get. The biggest thing to remember, though, is always go around and price things. Because, as an example, I bought a uh, representation of the female, one of the female Dinobots named Slash. Um, trying to remember the exact name of the toy. It was well, the name of the the name of the toy is Comera, C O M E R A. But it's a representation of Slash, the Dinobot Velociraptor chick. That was sixty nine ninety nine. But I also looked at it. The site I bought it from it was sixty nine ninety nine. Another site that I looked at it on it was seventy nine ninety nine. So that's why I say go around and price this shit before you get too wild with you know. Oh, well, I'm gonna just buy it from this site. Uh, a lot of the new. A lot of the new. Magic Square toys and other such are pre-orders right now, but that might not be a bad idea because, like, specifically TF Source and uh, the Chosen Prime have this thing called a stack. While TF Source has a stack, the Chosen Prime calls it Roller's Stash. Now, what that is is when you when you buy a pre-order, it goes into Roller's stash unless you want to pay the shipping. Now, here's the thing: if you want to get the if you want to get the free shipping, 
they'll hold something in your stash or uh, multiple things in your stash until you hit a, about with well with the chosen prime i know it's 150 i want to say tf source is the same with their stack but it's once you hit the specific amount of money to qualify for free shipping then they'll ship your stash you can just go on there and say hey ship my stash and they'll do it but that's once you've made a purchase that equals 150 dollars so if you go on there and pre-order you know say this week you can afford to pre-order you know beachcomber and sea spray that's not quite enough so the next week you go in and you pre-order or, or you know say if, if, the, if it's a, if they're available say you go on there and buy those then you go and buy flame patrol then you go back and get you know like shrike's feather you know slipstream or hotlink there and so you know say you decide you want to get this little reflector here you know when your order totals up to 150 dollars you can have them ship it out for free so that's why i said in the first video patience is a virtue because it will cost you less in the long run if you can get the free shipping so that's uh that's the biggest thing now if, now if, like i said ebay is good if you like the masterpiece particularly you're gonna need a bigger boat but if you got the space issues and you like the legend style figures you know, like, well, if you, like, if you want the power of the primes and combiner wars, usually you can go to Walmart and get those, but those are getting really hard to find. So you kind of have to go to eBay or, you know, I want to, I want to say Walmart.com, but they usually ship those. You buy it from Walmart.com and then they ship those from another, another toy store anyway. So just, yeah, at your own discretion, but whatever you pick to collect. You know, it never hurts to uh, know where the best prices are. You know, Google searches are your best friend. I, Lord knows, I, I I went and checked. I went and did a check on currencies just to see. You know, so if you're looking for like, okay, well, I'm not in the United States like you are, Magnus. What what country? You know, what what what's the price going to be in my country? Which, if you are in the UK or some other country, you might want to see if they're... Because I haven't had anybody do it yet. If you do have a, a site where you can get decent prices on Transformers for Canada, the UK, Australia, you know, just wherever, post that in the comments section. That'd be helpful to people who are looking for that. But also, you know, like I went and checked currencies. Great Britain. The UK, I have to congratulate you. Yours, your, your money's better than ours because for every 77 pence or cents or whatever the hell you guys have, that equals up to a dollar American. You Canadians, on the other hand, I, I could buy one of your dollars for 75 cents. <laughs> Australia, you're not any better because yours is 72 cents. <laughs> Uh, but I, I've also I also it made me realize why Chinese funny money you know why you can get things so cheap over there because one dollar American is worth about eight or nine dollar eight or nine Chinese yuan because there there's is there one of that one Chinese yuan is worth eleven cents American or tw it was eleven or twelve something like that. Of course, you Swedish and you Norwegians are the same, have the same problem. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's so if I say you know thirty to sixty dollars American, because that's what I'm going by. That's that's the metric I'm using here. So it, you know, keep that in mind. Get, do a quick Google search. Calculate. Okay, so if it's sixty dollars American, that's X amount in my country's money. Um, also beware of buying things from foreign countries because Canada, I love you to death, but considering how much I had to pay for postage to have something fucking shipped from you assholes down to my house, that better come with a voucher for a free blowjob from Justin fucking Trudeau himself, I swear to God. Moist. Because I've ordered two things from up there as far as I'm aware and your shipping is fucking horrendous. 
let's just face it, because rep, Repro Labels is up there. Now, if you buy these third-party figures, you might need to know about places like Repro Labels, because those are folks that make things like these. As you can see, these are all different sizes of Decepticon logos. That's how these third-party dudes like, you know, Hotlink here have a Decepticon logo on the wing is because, you know, they don't come with those because third-party companies, one, they can't use the name, the correct name. That's why, you know, Red Alert here is Flame Patrol. You know, as you see, I put my own little Autobot logo on him because he came with the fire department stickers and shit, but he did not come with the Autobot logo. So that's why I said, you know, you, with third-party companies, you kind of have to learn what they're called. I don't know if Gundam figures have have third-party manufacturers. You might want to look into it if you're into Gundams. But as far as Transformers go, third parties, you know, they they make these nice little figures, but that Autobot logo was added by me. So, you know, find out what sites sell that because you can you can get those off eBay too. I got I got some for like. A, a, two, a sheet of each logo for four dollars and free shipping so you know thank you china for having such cheap shit for those of you who can't do that i'm looking at you sweden you might want to see if there's any places that sell labels like that online you know closer to home or in another country where it would be cheaper for you Toffee. but if you're looking into third party you know, third-party Transformers, which is the best way to go. And these legend size are the best. You know, oh, Lepro, one thing I forgot to mention, Repro Label also sells dioramas, little backgrounds you can put on your display shelf to put your Transformers on. So that would, that would be a nice little touch. And they're not too badly priced. You know, like I said, the shipping is horrific, but the price is, like I paid $40 for... A little Cybertronian looking diorama and that was 25 bucks for the diorama and you know it, it totaled up to 40 dollars with the shipping so boo but anyway look into that sort of thing you know take a look at the legends figures they don't have very many out right now but they are coming out with with new ones all the time Especially Magic Square, which I'm, I'm, re I really like their products. You know, they don't look perfect. Some, some of them don't look perfect, but they do look good. You know, and usually in robot mode, like I said, they're very poseable and they look really nice on a shelf. You know, or posed up and you know, action poses and things. So look into that. Uh, drop the links in the comments if you have any that'll help out other broke nerds who need a boost. And look out for Magnus's Loot Crate coming up this weekend because I've got a shipment of all kinds of new shit. And uh, I think this time I might actually leave leave the boxes where I can show the boxes for these things because I've, I've kind of been neglecting that. Yeah. No! But I've also got a set of cone, a set of the, the a set of the three Conehead Seekers from Generation One. That. A set of three cost me sixty dollars, and f honestly, for three figures in one package, that's not bad. And they're legend scale, so the only reason I didn't get, you know, Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercracker was because they're out of stock, like everywhere. So, also, also, I'll be showing off the Commander Dutch, you know, the the legend size Optimus Prime, and he has truck trailer and all, so it was pretty good. It was about 50 bucks. Well, yeah, that's a little up there, but, you know, for the whole truck trailer and everything, it's not too bad. So, look into that, you know, in your own country. Do quick Google searches and just see what you can find. Play around with it. Find websites in your own country that have, like, free shipping after you spend, you know, up 150 pounds on whatever or whatever your funny money is called. And just see, just just you know, see what you can come up with. As for that, that's been another episode of Toy Collecting for Broke Nerds. <laughs> yeah, and I'll see you on the next one when we will be talking about Gundam model collecting, which 
I found some small legend size Gundams too, and they're not badly priced. They're like eleven dollars a pop, so we'll we'll have a little talk about that too. Alright, see you later. Ta ta for now.